So where do I start? My name is Jackson. Jackson Hyde. I was recruited for the Teen Titans about a week ago, right after Cyborg got the call to join the Justice League. I've never done one of these confessionals before, but Starfire said they help us get things off our chest. To be honest, I wasn't even a superhero a couple of weeks ago. I was just a kid, living in the most boring, driest place in America. As far as my family goes, I never really knew my father. He was gone long before I can remember. It's always just been me and my mom. Mom told me once that we moved around a lot before we settled down in Silver City, New Mexico. Talk about vague, huh? I guess you could say that most of my past is one big mystery to me. So my mom and I are pretty tight. She's always been there for me. This makes it even harder when she isn't in my corner about something. I was straight up afraid today when I told her about having superpowers and joining the Titans. <laughs> Believe it or not, she wasn't even a little bit surprised. I wish I could say the same when I told her I had a boyfriend. Okay, things just got real over here. I get a call from my mom at the tower saying that she needs to talk. When we meet up, she blows my mind. Turns out she isn't even from here. Neither am I. I'm Atlantean and an Aquamancer. Mom has been filling me in with details this past week. I found out I was born in a penal colony of Atlantis called Zebel. My real name is Calder, and she's been hiding me from my dad for years. Turns out, my father is the villain Black Manta. So this is me. Still trying to process that mic drop, while my mom leads me to my first visit to Atlantis. <laughs> it's amazing knowing Atlantis is my home. This trip there, my mom introduced me to Queen Mera and King Orin. You know, Aquaman! <laughs> Can you believe Mera is from Zebel? And she's an Aquamancer too! I get the feeling neither of them is fond of my dad, though. I just received an emergency message from Mira, asking me to come to Atlantis immediately. She says that the Elders turned on Aquaman, that they took away his throne and gave it to some tyrant named Wrath. My heart dropped when Mira said Aquaman was dead that Merc killed him as they tried to escape the palace. I've gotta go. Aqualad out. <laughs>